estamos ahí ocho estamos ahí verdad ocho y tres minutos ok Diana Diana va a estar oyendo, ¿verdad? Ok, guys, welcome to your last session, to your last class of the module. I don't know how do you feel today with your last class. You feel sad, you feel excited, you feel like uh, mad, you feel... What are what are those those encounter feelings that you have uh, today, guys? <laughs> what are those encounter feelings? Nah, there's no feeling for that, right? Because you're sad, going to teach him. Sad. <laughs> sad, sad. Okay, yeah, because you in this case you share with your classmates, you interact with the. With my person, with your classmate, we make some joke, we have fun, and that's the thing that we have to do, right? Spending a good uh, time of class because I consider the class not only has to be like a only in a serious mode. You can mix everything in classes, like mixing some jokes and resulting some other option that you have in. In the presentation that you are doing, not just um, but oh, okay. Uh, I would like to know how many of you did you do or complete at all the emitter of the last class or the last session? How many of you have finished that? How many of you guys? I was observing. Oh, Elsa, raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Elsa, Wilfredo, you. Okay, Elsa, Armando, you said you already finished, right? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Uh, what about Maria Wendy? You already finished there. Finish. Okay, you already finished this class. What about you, Blanca Stephanie? Yes, teacher. Okay, Don Jaime Ventura, did you finish the the meter? Yes. Okay, Marisol, what about you? Finish, teacher. Okay, Elsa Noelia, you tell me that you finished, right? Okay, yes. Imel, Imelda, hello. Hi. Uh, did I you finished. finish? Ah, you finished. Okay, that's great. Kalina Beatriz, what about you? Did you finish? Yes, teacher, I finished. Okay, thank you, Karina. Wilfredo, hello, Wilfredo, how are you? Fine, fine, teacher. Uh, how do you feel with your last session, Wilfredo? <laughs> uh, uh, a little, a little sad. <laughs> a little sad, but at the same time, you feel excited yeah. because you already finished uh, one module. You already finished the pre-intermediate level and you then continue to the next level, right? Yes, is... excited because the Monday next start the next model. Oh, on Monday you start the next model, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that that is interesting, guys, because you you must be like like excited, happy about uh, finish the this model because all the knowledge that you acquired in the model is. Uh, all of that is going to help you in the next one. And not only in the model or in the platform that you use, because if you already remember that we also touch or we go deeper into some part of the of the of the book. And we go abroad in the explanation. We not only just focus necessary in the image that the or the context that the book has. We also try to to work everything and more than than we have in the in the session, right? Eso es lo importante, chicos. Siempre enfocarnos no solamente a las cositas del libro, si nos podemos abrir más de la cuenta. Por mí no hay ningún problema. Con todo el gusto y con todo el placer del mundo, 
siempre les explico un poquito más, más allá, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que les estaba tratando de decir. <ríe> ok, guys. Vamos, let's go to share the screen. Where I have it. Uh, ta, ta, ta. Oh, in this one. Ok, guys. You have it. Oh, next one. I don't teach. Ok, guys. Eh... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Wait, guys, I move, I touch this. Okay. Okay, sorry, guys, because I I touch another thing. Okay, guys, just for doing a little faster feedback of what we were talking about yesterday, did you know that the, 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 the question that we have, we answer like in, in the random way? I'm going to show you the right answer or the one that we were talking about yesterday okay do you remember that we have those questions right and uh, which children are benefits from jury wars and the right answer was emily and josh which i is not benefit from jury's working the correct answer is ben which family member is enjoying more freedom remember we said josh which family members are doing more housework steve and Josh. And the last one, which family member feels too busy? The answer is Judy. The answer is Judy, guys. Okay, let's move now to the test. Okay, we're going to. And uh, okay, here we have it. And uh, guys, who was the one who helped me last time of playing the audio in this section? I see Floricia help me, right? Floricia? Floricia, hello. Can you hear me, Floricia? Me escucha, Floricia. Hola. Floricia. Hello. You're having technical problems, Floricia. Hello, Floricia. teacher. Me, me escucha. Ahorita sí, Floricia. Ahorita sí. Okay. Okay. Tenía problemas. Este, ¿cuál es, teacher? The eh, audio in the test of the section five. This one that okay. you see in the... Uh -huh. Did you remember that you helped us with the audio, right? Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know if you mm. can help us today. Yes. Okay, I really appreciate your help. Thank you for that. Okay, ahorita. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Mm -hmm. Well, I have four sisters, Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now but I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes, I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow, how long do you spend there? Mm, 
around around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. That's for sure. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Oh, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No, my two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. Mm -hmm. Okay, Floricia, uh, okay. Uh, would you Tell like... About your... <laughs> Uh, would you like to play it again, please? Just because I think that this might help to the other one in order to understand a little bit more about what the audio or the listening is saying, right? Okay, play it one more time, Felicia. Thank you for, for your help. Okay, did you? Okay, thank you. Hey, Catherine, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters, Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now. But I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes. I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow. How long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. That's for sure. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Oh, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No, my two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. Okay, thank you, Floricia. Now I'm going to move to the question number... Hmm. Okay, we are here in the question number one. Catherine has brother and sister. Uh, okay, I'm going to ask to some of you in order to participate and see what might be the possible answer. Marisol, hello Marisol, how are you? Hello teacher. Hello, Marisol. You yeah. were paying. You were paying attention to the audio, right? Yes. Okay, Marisol. Which one do you consider it is the right answer for this one? Uh, Catherine has seven brothers and sisters. Okay. Let's see. 
Let's keep in seven. Okay, thank you, Marisol. Okay, let's go in. <clears throat> uh, what about? Okay, let's. I'm going to. I'm going to choose another one. I'm going to choose another one. Uh, guys, please put your 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 microphone off, right? Because. <laughs> We may be recording everything that <laughs> outside the participation. <laughs> I hope you understand, right? Thank you. Thank you for helping me. Okay, Wilfredo. Hello, Wilfredo. Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you, Wilfredo? You're good, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Very good. <laughs> Wilfredo, did you remember what we were talking or what I was saying in the audio about the number two? Nowadays, Mark is living uh, with a friend. With a friend. Keep in mind this answer. This is going to be your answer in the number two. Remember, Wilfred. The okay. number one is going to be for Marisol. <clears throat> Let's go to move to the number three. Uh, Henry. Hello, Henry. Hello, teacher. Hello, Henry. Welcome back to the, to the video. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, Henry, this is going to be your question. Okay, please pay attention. Number three, yeah. Sharon usually goes to the gym. What might be the possible answer for this one, Henry? Three times a week. Three times a week. Remember, Henry, this one, okay. the number three is yours. Okay. okay. What about the last one? <clears throat> the last one. Jocelyn, how are you? Jocelyn, Alicia. I never have heard your voice, or this is gonna be your first time. Uh, Jocelyn, I don't know what kind of problem are you having, but I don't know what's going on with your camera. Uh, Jocelyn. Teacher. Hola. She, uh... Ella escribió en, en, en el grupo en WhatsApp hace un momento que tiene problemas de conexión. Ah, ok. Yeah, because I was... Me, teacher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, let me see. <clears throat> ok. <clears throat> Thank you. Eh, Daniela, Daniela Martínez. Hello, Daniela. Hello, teacher. Hello, Daniela. You were paying attention to the audio, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, Daniela. Remember, the, the question number four is going to be yours in this case. What will be the possible answer for the number four according to the listening that we were? Are working abroad. Are, bro are working abroad. Remember that. Okay. Now we are going to check each of them right to see if we have one of them wrong we have a good as yes, we're going to show <clears throat> okay okay guys who was the one who has the number one marisol right marisol hello uh, do you remember that this this was your question, right? Yes. Yes, and it was correct. Yes. Catherine has seven brothers and sister. Okay, thank you. And who had the number two? Me, teacher. Okay, okay, Wilfredo. Remember, you said with a? With a friend. With a friend, okay, that was good. And who has the number three? Me, teacher. Okay, Henry, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, remember, three times a week. Because in the listening, maybe you get, you or you tend to be confused because the listening mentioned the uh, quantity of day that she goes to the gym. But mm -hmm. here, we are, here we are talking about the time or how often she goes to the gym. And she said that she goes three times a week a week 
that the that the session that that she does at the gym three times a week. Okay, thank you, Henry. Okay. The number the number four. Who asked? Daniela, remember some of the man's younger brothers and sister, and you said are working abroad. Okay, and was right. Your answer was right. A, let's go to the section B. <clears throat> okay, guys, here we have a conversation. Instruction. Complete the sentence with do, does, or will. Remember uh, that we were working the, with those structure, right? Uh, instruction, complete, complete las instrucciones, complete las oraciones con do, does, or will. Uh, okay, who would like to help me with the number one? Does. Who would like? Will. 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 Would you like to see Would a movie like, tonight? Would you like to see the movie? Okay. Keep in mind, remember number one. Wool. Wool. Okay. Then we then we're going to check if it is correct or not. Let's move to the number two. Do you like horror movie? No, not really. <laughs> no. No. Hmm? No. No. You, 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 like? you, you <laughs> <laughs> ah, you catch it. You, you got it in the air, right? See, thank you, teacher. <laughs> you got it in the air, right? <laughs> no, there's something. Uh, there's something funny, and curious that happened with 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 my little guys in in the meter. <laughs> uh, what I do is put something first, like some vocabulary, and the next question say write the same vocabulary that you have. And in the upside, in the in the in the upper part, and even putting in that way, they don't know how, uh, sometimes because they are a few that the only one that that, that take their book, their notebook, and and study at home, right? The one that don't study at home, they are completely lost. Mm -hmm. They are completely lost, and even giving them that clue. First, you have yeah. your 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 answer, and then you have what you have to complete. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. Yeah, but you are you are awake. Everybody here is awake. <laughs> you are a good teacher. Teacher <laughs> for us. Uh, uh, yeah, I was I was watching if you were really paying attention. Yeah, remember that. <laughs> yeah. That means that you really are paying attention. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Thank you. Let we and we say do right. Do you like horror mm -hmm. movie? No, not really. Okay. What about the number three? Mm -hmm. What kind of music? That's that's, that's that. your friend. That's mm -hmm. that's okay. Remember that that's that's. That's, 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 that's that. your friend. Hey, he's, he's my tocayo. Your friend Ricardo like. Rock Rogue. and classical, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very good music. Just like the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay guys. <laughs> it's okay. Let, it's okay. <laughs> okay, let's move to the part two. Introduction, complete the following conversation, use the present continuous of the verb. Remember that we were talking about the present continuous, Thank right? Present. Present. Hola. ¿Dónde está eso de Ricardo? Here. In the... Number three. Don't you see? A mí no me sale eso. Ah? Uh -huh. A mí What? no me sale eso. In part B. No, part, part B, is, no, 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 section B and part, B? part two, no, part one. Part one. Part one. Mm -hmm. Part one. Question three. Question, ah? Uh -huh. Number three. <laughs> Question number three. Uh, 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 Question uh, uh, number three. How, how might be that doesn't appear to you? 
I think everybody appears on their screen. And Henry, you said that you are watching and observing the sale, right? The number three. Are you sure, Diana? Check again in yourself. Yeah, teacher, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Ah, ah, yeah. Even in some cases, Diana, what Thank happened? You. Even in some cases, what happened no, is that it's gonna be the answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, guy. The problem is in some in the computers appears in one way, and on the and in the and on the cell phones appears in different way. That might be the case that that exactly. will happen with with Diana, yeah. Because in the computer here in the screen appears completely different, it appears everything. <laughs> okay. Let's move to the part two. Present continuous. Okay, guys. In Spanish, I'm going to explain you too. Complete las siguientes conversaciones, use el presente continuo de los verbos. Okay, here we have the number one. How is your sister? Is she studying these days? She's studying she's these studying. days. Is she studying? She's studying. Is she? Is she studying? Is she studying? studying. Okay, she's remember studying. that. Remember that. Is she studying? This days. days. Okay, remember that. Is she studying? Let's go. Let's move to the section B. No, she is She is working. Is working. She's working. She's working. She's work. She's working. As a cashier yeah. at the grocery store. Okay, remember that. Remember your answer. She's. You said she's working as a cashier at the grocery store. Okay, let's. Let's keep it on that way. Let's move to the number two. Let's move to the number two. Is he uh, waiting? Maybe is the... mm -hmm. is he's waiting. waiting. It is waiting he's for. Wait. Is he waiting. waiting for? Who is, is he, waiting? he waiting for? Okay. Let's remember that. Who is he waiting for? Okay. Let's going to move to the part B. His girlfriend, Maggie. Maggie. She's coming. She's coming she on, on the bus. On the bus. On the bus. She's coming. In on, on the bus. On the bus. Okay, on the bus. guys. On the bus. Are you ready to see the possible answer, right? Okay. Yes, we're going to see and check it right here. I think there's two parts. Okay, we are good. We are great. Okay, guys, here we have the correct answer to the statement or the sentence. And who remember the uses of wool? Remember that in one class we were talking about wool, right? Wool. Would you like to see a movie tonight? Mm -hmm. Remember, we always put wool at the beginning in order to make a what? What is this? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Always focus on that. <laughs> we have wool at the beginning. We have question mark at the end. That's me. The same sentence is telling us that it is an, a question. That is a question that we have right there. If we didn't have the question mark, it is only a simple sentence or a simple statement. But we have the question mark and also the one that gives you the idea to remember that it's a question is that we have who at the beginning. <clears throat> Let's move to the 2A. What is the right answer is? Do. Do. Do, 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 do. Why is do? Why is do, guy? Who can tell me why, why, why we have do right here? Mm -hmm. Auxiliar verb. Auxiliar 
Bird. Thank you. It is an auxiliary verb. And it is used in order to make questions. Question. It is used to make questions. But how do we know that it is used to make questions? Because we have it where? At the? In the beginning. At the beginning of the sentence. We have it at the beginning of the sentence. We always we have these auxiliaries or this kind of form of verb at the beginning. That means that we are having a question. Remember that. The same happened with wool. The same happened with wool. Remember, all of that, all of that is focused with all the three of them. Do, does, and wool. Do, does, and wool. Okay. What about the number three? What kind of music? What was the answer? Does. But why, but why do you think we use that instead of do? It's a third person. Because it's third person. Third person. Because we're talking about third person. Third person. <clears throat> Okay. And what gives you the idea that the sentence or the statement is referring to a third person? Do you have a clue right there? Do you have do you have a clue right there, guys? In order you can infer what we have or what we are talking about of a third person. Who we have in the in the statement? Mm -hmm. It's a question. Yeah, you know, it, it is it, a question. Ricardo. Oh, how do you say Armando? Uh, he doesn't speak with Ricardo. Mm -hmm. The key here, guys, it is that the double question is telling us that is referring or making emphasis in Ricardo. And who is Ricardo? Is he and mm. who is he? It is a third person. What is in this case? What is the function of that? The function of that is the it is doing the function has a pair because uh, in this case it is not working as auxiliary, it is working properly as a pair. In this case, he is working as a pair. That's why we use that because Ricardo is he. And it is a third person. What about if we were having a plural right here? We this this the same most might be applied with 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 a plural. No, no, no. Oh, because every structure has its form. Remember the one that goes with the third person and the one that goes with their. Plural, never going to mix a singular with a plural or a plural with a singular. Everything match as it is. Singular, singular, plural, and plural. Plural, plural. It's like when you try to mix water and oil. That never will happen. You can mix water with water. You can mix oil with oil. In this case, in the in the grammar. In English grammar, the cases are that you mix single, single, plural with plural. Because according, plural. because according to the grammatical rules, you won't do nothing similar like that. Mixing singular, plural, or plural with singular. No. Each of them has its form. Singular with singular and plural with plural. Okay. I think this everything clears until this moment, right? What about the part number two? Uh, complete the following conversation using the present continuous. Remember, we are talking about the present continuous or el famoso presente continuo. Uh, here we have the number one. How is your sister? We have an interruption right here with the question mark. And he said, is she starting these days? 
Guy, who can tell me what happened when we have the verb to be at the beginning of the sentence? It's a question. It's a question. It's a question. How is your sister? Is she studying this day? She's making or she's doing two questions at the same time. ¿Cómo está tu hermana? ¿Está estudiando estos días? We have two questions at the same time. That's no problem. That can be applied. Even in Spanish, we used to do that, those kind of things. And that is permitted. Mm -hmm. That is permitted. Even in English, in Spanish. Even in Spanish, we we have like a, that old custom that we always try to do a lot of questions at the same time. Like if we, like if we were uh, reporters or something like that. In English, it happens the same thing, if you see. But in this case, we are applying the technique of the present continuum. And what gives you a parameter or an idea that it is properly used as a question, it is that we have the verb to be or a form of the verb to be in the beginning of the sentence. Not in the first one. We have it in the second one. And that means the both of them are questions. But one, is, one of them is working with how, and another one is working with is. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move to the following one. No, she's, she isn't. She is working, is working as a cashier, as a cashier at, at grocery store. Okay, she's working as a cashier in a grocery store because it is continually, we are continuously talking about that person. That's why we use the present continue because it keeps moving, but in the present, it keeps moving. And it stop in a certain period of time, but not near in the future, but don't even in the in, in the present, but it's like a it's like a between this point of time, between the future and in the present. Uh, this is the section that that can abort the, the present continue. Okay, that's why we use she's working. Okay. What about the number two? Is that David over there? Who is he waiting for? Guys, what is this what structure we are using here? With who? How do we call it? Did you remember this structure that we were talking mm -hmm. in, in Double H question. Double H question. Right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Do you remember that all of them are called double H question? How they are, why they are called double H question? Because they are used to make questions. That's the only thing that that's why they are used. Okay. Here we have the same two questions. At the beginning, we have a question with the form, the verb to be. And in the second part, we have a double question, but double question used in the present continue. How can we make emphasize that we really are using a present continue? Remember who, after who we use or verb or subject. And here the verb to be is working as a helping verb, the subject and the verb in the ing form, oh. in the ing form. Who is he? waiting for, who is he waiting for? Okay, then the section B, his girlfriend Maggie, she is coming on the bus. In on, in on the bus. In on the bus, okay. His girlfriend Maggie, she is coming in the bus because we can say she comes in on the bus because we are not using simple present. We are using present continues. If we, if the, the structure were different, and if we were talking about the simple present, uh, that might be applied. She is, she, she comes on the bus. She comes on the bus. But in this case, we are using a present continue. That's why we say she is coming in on the bus. That's it. Okay. Let's move to <clears throat> our third part. The one that we have right here. I think that all of you already have a thing in this in this meter. 
because one not too hard. Uh, okay, multiple choices. This is the C part that we have here. Multiple choices. Instruction, choose the correct word. O escoja la palabra correcta. Okay, we have the number one. A J does every morning before breakfast. Which word do you think might complete better this sentence? Yoga. He does yoga. Yoga. Um, J does yoga. Okay. Yeah, remember yoga. We can keep in yoga. Okay, we can keep. J does yoga every morning before before breakfast. That's what he does before breakfast breakfast before eating his frijoles and, and scrambled eggs with tortilla and cheese and cream and what else <laughs> okay let's move to the number two number two say how often do you do you what swimming in the summer oh it is nice go. to swim in the summer go 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 go, go. go. okay go <clears throat> okay let's say go what about the number three? I sometimes play with my friends. Baseball. 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 Okay. Baseball. Baseball. We have one ball, two balls. Okay. Now we're going to check the possible answer. <clears throat> okay, guys. Oh, you were 100% sure of the answer. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's check one thing here. Uh, why did you think yoga was the right uh, complement for the sentence? What makes you think that that was the right choice? ¿Qué los hizo pensar? The, the verb, verb uh, does because uh, Perdón, si hubiera sido fútbol, no podía ir ese verbo, tendría que haber sido play. Uh -huh. Y jogging, con todo el perdón del mundo, jogging no sé qué es, pero ese no era. <risa> Yo, jogging, jogging, <risa> es, <risa> jogging, jogging es trotar. Tendría es, que haber sido eh, eh, go, goes, no uh -huh. das. Oh, listen the explanation that Henry is giving to us, and that is completely great. And he said, oh, no, this one is not for this and this. This also is not for that and this. This one, it is the proper one because we have the bird that has the bird that we are going to use in the set. And the one that really makes sense 100% is yoga. And that is what makes us think that yoga was the proper answer for the number one. Okay, thank you, Henry, for help, helping us in this question. I really appreciate everyone's participation. Thank you. Then number two, how often do you go swimming yeah. in the summer? Uh -huh. I don't know if you hear me, but my internet is bad. Ah, okay, don't worry. Okay, okay, don't don't worry about that, Armando. Uh, but when when you speak it, you, I can hear you well, but I don't know what kind of message you are having. And it is understandable. Conference is in pause at the moment. <clears throat> ah, don't worry, don't worry, Armando. Okay. Uh, why we select the bear go in the number two guys? Why do you think we select the this one? Uh -huh. Yo tomé la, la estructura a partir del, del do, para ser sincero. Oh. O sea, la pregunta a partir del do, o sea, la estructura del verbo do, luego uh -huh. subject, más los verbs, más uh -huh. los complementos. Ok. Se, uh, are you listening to Alfredo, guys? He said he is taking the, 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 the structure. How often do you remember that? How often... 
uh, we have the structure, uh, the auxiliary and the subject and the another verb and plus the complement. Okay, that is that that is a great observation and also a good point of view. And even because go is explaining or telling us that he's going to that place or he really go to doing that. And how often do you go swimming? Because if we use do, it was like a redundant and no make sense. If we use play, doesn't match because we are talking about swimming. We don't play swimming, we go swimming, but we don't play swimming. We play, a, a, we can use play, but if we were talking about a sport, related with water, but in this case, we are not talking about an sports uh, related with water. No, in this case, we were talking about the action, in this case, of how often it go, the person go swimming. In the, the best answer for this question, it will be go. Thank you, Wilfred, for your participation. What about the number three? I sometimes play, I sometimes play with my friend. Say, baseball, baseball. Why we decide to select baseball as the right one? Why do you think that, guys? Select baseball as the proper one or the right one. I sometimes yeah. play. Because the 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 verb play. play. Diana said the action. And Henry, what play, was telling you? Play. Uh, por... Sorry, es... me enredo al intentar hacerlo así, pero <laughs> hasta <laughs> donde recuerdo. <laughs> eh, play se usa cuando práctica tiene que ver con trabajo en equipo o con. Eh, implementos fuera de decir sí. en este caso baseball porque se usa eh, un bat y pelotas aparte oh. que es un juego en equipo en also involves a lot of action right that that ends up in one only thing that is it is a game in this game is baseball this game is baseball that, that's why the proper one and the best answer and the right answer for this one is baseball because in ice skating, you don't play in ice skating. You ride, you, you, you use your line, your, your line skating. You never play aerobics. Just you do your aerobics, but you don't play. How are you going to be playing your aerobics? Hey, one, hey, two, hey, three. <laughs> no, you don't. You, you, you won't play. En el no. Nintendo, sí. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. In, in Nintendo, sí. In Nintendo, sí. Oh, okay, it is understandable. Okay. It is understandable. In, in Nintendo, okay. Let's keep it that way. In Nintendo, just in Nintendo. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to move a little bit faster to the last section because we are running out of time. I think I think the class is uh, even if the, it is the last one, but it's like a very interesting because we are explaining all of the sections that we were talking about during those week, and I really are observing that you really pay attention to the class, and also you were having like a, a why so about what we are talking about. Okay, this is the last part, guys. It is a reading instruction. Read the article, then check the correct answer. Okay, here we have an article. Audrey Tauto. Tauto. Oh, Tauto. Tauto. Well, it's a very kind of weird name. Okay. Audrey Tauto is a young friend. Oh, she's a French. That's why she has that, that last name. Tauto is a young French actress. She has fans around the world. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. 1978, Andre is born in Belmont, France. Oh, a nice, a nice place. 1980 and 1990s, Audrey acts in play, especially comedies in high school. 
after that, she goes to acting school. She wins the prize, best new comer for the acting on French TV, 1999. 2000, 2002, Audrey acts in many movies, including Boju Bolesh. Oh, Boju Bolesh. Then she plays a young woman called Amelie in a movie. Of the same name, Amelie, 2001, is in French, but the film is a big international hit. Audrey becomes popular in many countries, including the United States. Audrey also acts in a film called God is Grey. I not. 2002, that was in 2002. What about the year of 2003? <laughs> okay, what about 2003? Audrey, Audrey has a big year. She acts in the Spanish apartment and he loves me. He loves me not. She also acts in dirty, pretty thing. This is the first time she speaks English in a movie. Okay. We have heard a little bit about Audrey Tauto. She's a French girl. She uh, really enjoys, she really likes um, doing movies or playing some movies. But the thing is that she really enjoys working as an actress. And it is a very nice and popular French actress. Okay, guys, here we have the question number one. In high school, Audrey Tattoo asks, which one do you consider might be the best answer for this question? In high school, Audrey Tattoo asks, where do you mention that? In place. In? Place. In place. What is the town? Who's speaking? Me. Yeah, tell me, Diana. What is a uh, tau, tau? This one, this tau tau. A tau tau, uh huh. I think, it's, I think it is her last name. Andre Tau Tau. Uh, ah. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, and we said in place, right? Remember that the number one is in place. What about the number two? Many Americans like the movie. Amelie. 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 Amelie with a sombrero. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Let's move to the number three. Audrey acts in three movies in? 2003. 2003. 2003. Three. 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 Okay. Three. One, two, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. 2003, okay. In her movies, Audrey usually speak? French. 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 No, no. She, was, she was talking Spanish. Yeah, French, she was... a bad movie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, she. She the was talk... in, the, in the last movie. He's speaking... No, she was. She was talking in in, in French, Frenchish. French. That is French mixed with Spanish. <laughs> 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 yeah, like Thank like, you. yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> Now it is time to see the moment of truth and to see if we, all of you were right, we, we you were correct answering those questions, okay? Ta -ta -ta -ta. Oh, okay, you were in the correct? Number one, in place. What about the number two, Amelie? What about Audrey acts in three movies in 2003? What about in her movie, Audrey should speak French because she was a French girl. Teacher. Oh, hola. You plataform is the same like me, plataform? No, no, no. My plataform is- different? Yeah, the my is teacher. The your uh... is a student. Mm -hmm. 
Sí, porque veo que le salen las respuestas así para buscarla. Yo te... <risa> no, 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 The question that you have in order to fix the statement or the sentence that you have. What is the case if you have the, the, the whole answer? Best you don't do nothing. That's why your platform is different. Mine is different. Because in that way, I show you the right answer. Indiana says, give me your password. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, it is not a password. It is a user that the institution give us and in that way Deme su uh, correo, teacher. <laughs> share, share, share me your your access <laughs> uh, maybe maybe in the future ah <laughs> no but the, the it is a very great uh, a very great tool even for you guys and uh, search the, in facebook her name <laughs> <for Facebook. laughs> <laughs> okay guys let's going to see how many of you we are and Karina, Beatriz, Elizabeth, Carla, they were having some issues, okay? Okay, guys, we are 24 in my case, in the case with me, and okay, now we are going to call the roll because it is almost time, guys. Okay? It's going to stop sharing the screen. Now we're going to move right here over there and see the attendance list. The attendance list for today. Today is Thursday. 26. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 26. Okay. Ana Graciela Ramos, where are you? Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Anderson Jeremy, he was having an issue. He was not there. I was talking to him. Armando Antonio. Here, teacher. Okay. Blanca Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you, Blanca. Karina Beatriz. I'm teacher. Thank you. Carlos Aníbal. Carlos Aníbal. Teacher. Hola. Él dijo, él dijo que ya no iba a estar en la clase. ¿Ya no iba a estar o que hoy no iba a estar? Dijo que, que hoy no iba a estar, tenía inconvenientes personales por los que no está seguro si va a continuar o no. Ah, ok. Gracias, gracias, chicos. Haremos ver eso también. Daniel Alejandra. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. What about Diana Patricia? You were there, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. teacher. Listen well, Diana. Yes, Diana. teacher. <laughs> present, present. <laughs> Elsa Noelia. Present, present, present. present. Okay, Flor Floricia. Present teacher. Okay, present. What about Henry? I'm here, teacher. Oh, yeah, you were there, Henry. Ingrid? I'm come back. <laughs> uh, Ingrid, you were there? Ingrid Esmeralda? No, you are not there. Okay. What about Jaime Van? You were there, right? I am here. I am here, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Jaime. Jocelyn Alicia? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Karina Yamilet? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Carla Gabriela? Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Imelda. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Wendy Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Marisol de Los Angeles Cortés. Present teacher. Thank you, Marisol. Eh, Miguel Ángel Clemente. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Nelson Rutilio. Here I am. Okay. Jos Romel José. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Ronald Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Elizabeth Barriento. Present teacher. Thank you. Runo Emi. Núñez. Teacher Ruth, uh, right, I'm here. What? ¿Qué ha pasado con Ruth? Es que yo estoy aquí. Ah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I forgot it. Okay. Wilfredo, you were there, right? Okay, let's see, guys. And well, guys, this was everything. 
Well, I hope you have enjoyed the whole time during those four intense weeks. I hope you have fun. I hope you have learned. I hope you have everything or the whole positive thing according with yeah, your let's English. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hope you you have or you really like it to be present in in the classes. Uh, well, I don't know if we're going to see you again in the in a future. I'm not sure about it because we are not completely sure who is going to be our next group. But maybe or I consider that I might see you in a future and that will be great because you are a very great group, excellent students. You participate in everything, you pay attention, and you even try to do your best. As I told you in, uh, at the beginning, you know, in the first session, don't worry if you make mistakes. Here, everybody, in this case, everybody here is learning. If you make mistakes, if you get confused in some words, don't worry. Everybody, in some time, we, we have made mistakes. And in this, and in this case, uh, I really appreciate your focus, your concentration, right? Because it is like a kind of heart being sat down one hour in front of the screen. And even after you came from work. Y pues ya en español, para que me entiendan un poquito mejor al 100%, siempre les agradeceré y los recordaré, ¿verdad? Por ser dinámicos, participativos y por esa atención que siempre los caracterizaba cada uno de ustedes. Cualquier cosa, siempre saben que estamos a la disposición. Eh, estamos siempre para colaborarles. Eh, don't cry, teacher. No, no cry. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> that is different. <laughs> Only you crying. <laughs> <laughs> Only you were crying, Diana. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Eh, pues espero eh, que en un futuro nos vamos a encontrar. Cualquier duda, cualquier cosa que tengan y tal vez por, por X o Y razón otro maestro no les, eh, no les pueda responder rápido y mi persona pudiese, pues yo encantado siempre estaré ahí para colaborar, ¿verdad? Les agradezco enormemente, pues, y les deseo los mejores de los éxitos, ¿verdad? Y, pues, a seguir, que de esto se trata, ¿verdad? A seguir mejorando, a seguir este, adquiriendo nuevos conocimientos. Así que fue un gusto, chicos. Este, se porten bien y, pues, esperamos verlos nuevamente. Thank you, teacher. Así que, Thanks for all, teacher. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank you, guys. Eh, Take care, have a good night. Uh, relax for tomorrow nice. because tomorrow is Friday. Thank you, teacher. It was a pleasure. Okay. Okay. Uh, esperamos hasta el próximo. Okay, chicos. Uh, We're going to be bye, getting touch. Bye bye, guys. Take care. Take bye. care. Bye, bye teacher. It was a pleasure. Bye, bye teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye, guys. Take care.